Welcome back everyone, Deload here. Big Ambitions, Early Access, point four. Last time I left off with you guys, we hired and started training both of the lawyers that we need. Thankfully, they are only going to cost us $105 an hour each, which is significantly less than the cost of service that they provide. We also finished up the interior of the law office and we added both computer stations for these lawyers. Now we don't have any furniture yet. We need to definitely do that. But on top of that, we were able to purchase all the appliances we need for the coffee shop. Now, what we need to do is also get the furniture for the law firm as well. So what we're gonna do is grab that, grab the stuff for the coffee shop as well and get that laid out and go from there. So I'll see you guys in a second once I'm at the coffee shop. All right, so we have all the goods from the delivery inside the future home of our coffee shop. I think we're going to start setting in the storage shelves here just to get them out of the way. It's always kind of difficult getting what you need in terms of these smaller little back rooms for these larger me I guess I should say medium sized retail stores but I think three storage shelves should be sufficient I mean that's what 32 48 yeah 48 spot slots excuse me that, sh that should be good enough um let's move this right there We'll set up our trash bins on both sides here. That way it should be easy for our customers to throw away what they need to throw away. Let's see, cabinets with drawers. Well, let's set these here just for the, the moment. I wanna get these hand trucks out of the way. Let's not do those just yet. All right, so the bakery showcases. These are going to be our bread and butter. No pun intended. We will set these up. Hmm. It's kind of bothersome because I want them to be close to the wall, but then if you do that, it's offset just slightly to the point where it's, it's sticking out into the wall. It just, it doesn't look good that way. So I'm, I guess I'll just let it sit offset like that. We'll put these back to back. Remember, we need six of them. And I might, I might still change this up too. We'll see here in just a little bit. In fact, yeah, I already, I'm already going to change it. No, no, don't get rid of this. So what I'll do, I think that should be a sufficient amount of space. There we go. Turn this guy around. We'll just stack these like this. Notice they also clip through. You can kind of see it here. It just clips just slightly. So it's almost like the grid. I think the grid is fine. I think it's the walls. They need to just move just slightly in all directions or so, I, something. I really don't know exactly what it could be, but definitely having a problem there. All right. So we're going to set that guy there. And lastly, we're going to have to move the, these guys here. All right. In fact, we can just do that and keep it symmetrical. All right, next. Let's give them a little space when they're walking out. We have four more shelves here to do drawers excuse me set these up in a straight line that looks pretty much like it could be a believable entrance got our coffee machine and our drinks fridge which i will just put oh oh that's annoying Hmm. 
to do. Can I do this? Okay, yeah, that works. So what if I... No, that just looks so... Hmm. Crap. Right, what if I did this? Gotta get myself out of the way first. Alright, still symmetrical. But then... Okay. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out before. Oh, that's what it was. There we go. That's a bit better. Alright, so we're going to do... These guys. We'll do cupcakes in the center. And donuts on the sides. Once these all get filled up, it'll look really nice and good. We've got our soda cans as well, coffee machine. We only need one. This will handle 30 customers per hour. All this should handle 30 customers per hour, and that should be everything we need for the store in terms of the goods we're going to sell. Obviously, we need to do the interior here. We need to get furniture, namely tables, chairs. You know, make it make it look decent. Right now, we're sitting at 14,000. I don't think it would be smart to try to do anything on this day just to make sure that we can cover any expenses we might have going out, but we can definitely get the interior. Like, I'm thinking, let's see. What does this look like? That's just wood floor. Looks good though. That looks nice, doesn't it? Looks really nice. Let's see. What would this cost us in the future? I always like to do something in the back room too, just to increase the score just a little bit, because for some reason customers can see back there. I mean, I guess it makes sense because the door, but you know, people peeking over and judging the floor and the walls inside the back room are just a bit rude. All right, let's see. What'll look good for a coffee house? What is this? Ooh, that looks good. I like that look. That nice dark brick. All right. If we were to do that, we're looking at $11,435. It gives us a 68 score on the interior. If I am not mistaken, let's see if it's in here first. Interior designer. Hmm. I haven't dealt with blueprints before, by the way, so th this is going to be a new thing to me if we ever do anything in the immediate sense, or at least in the short term. Right now, I, I don't think it's necessary to do any blueprints. Huh. This furniture... Okay, it's not going to tell us. So, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the interior score that we see here, the 68% for this, isn't the only thing that dictates the score that customers pretty much rate you on for the interior itself. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Adding furniture like tables, bins, loudspeakers, etc., will have a positive effect. So there we go. We need to add furniture, obviously, to increase the effect of our interior. So just by adding this stuff, it brings to 68%. Then adding the rest of the furniture that I plan on getting should increase that score even further. So again, just plan for 12,000 for the the walls and the floors. But right now we're just gonna revert that. Back to this ugly, nasty look. But we got the basic stuff down. Next, we need to consider what we might do with the law firm. So why don't we go to, where are you? Mr. Scott's office supplies. I believe they can help us with what I'm thinking they can. 
so yep they have they have all the plants and I think they have the planters and whatnot but we're also looking for you know lockers they, these these don't do anything it's just interior score so lockers bins waiting room chairs plants stuff like that large meeting tables are necessary uh, sometimes your employees will ask for them or at least you'll you'll almost always have one office worker ask for a large meeting table with the let's see oh there it is with the planter box it's a good separator this is a big one it's almost like i don't know six large squares across or something like that just something to make it look nice we're not gonna order anything currently i mean i guess we could see how much it would be so maybe let's do two of those two of those two of those maybe add three office lockers two paper bins since we only have two lawyers uh, hmm. Let's add a water cooler. That makes sense to me. I think that'll be sufficient just for the immediate sense. Now, again, we're not going to order it right now, but you can see the cost $4,955. So we're basically looking at if we were to do just the floors and the walls for the coffee shop plus these items here. We're roughly estimating around 17,000 just for that. And that's not including getting the coffee shop furniture, which if we talk to Ica Bohag, we have not. So let's go over there real quick. Let's price that out as well. Get a better idea of what we need. How long we'll have to wait. I turned left too soon. Oof, look at that. That was some some skill. Alright. Let's get parked there. I'm gonna park like a bum. Alright, so here let's just go talk to them. I like doing it this way, just at least to get a better idea of, of what we're going to be getting. So. There it is. That's the one I want. And yes, I do realize last time I sent it to here, that was my apartment. And I had to take the time to move all the goods over. Not that it was that far, thankfully, but it was pretty annoying. All right. So. Let's see. I'm thinking. Perhaps we do something like maybe, yeah, let's add a horizontal modern shelf. Let's do a left and right sofa. Maybe add a little, oh no, let's do this one. Double sided coffee table, carpet. Let's put a little, I don't know, let's put a little plan on there. And then we need, yeah, let's add, let's add some pictures. What's this say? Chill, relax, calm. Well, you're drinking coffee, so it's kind of hard to be calm since your nerves are going to be amped. Let's do, where's the round table? There it is. Let's do three of those, which means we need 12 chairs. I think that's sufficient. Maybe put a clock in there. I don't know why. I just have a clock. People can look at the time. Oh, we do need speakers. Let's do... It's kind of hard to say because I don't know if I want to... Ooh, I like that clock better. I don't know if I want to go to AJ Peterson and get the wall speakers. You know what? Screw it. Let's get two of these guys. We can put it on the horizontal shelf and we can still get the wall hanging speakers. But right now we're looking at 
$6,500. Let's do this. It's going to deliver tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do this for now. And it'll eat into our overall profit. All right. All right, so I realized I made one calculating error. I mistakenly, well, one, I just missed my turn. Two, I mistakenly forgot that I needed to get the furniture for the purchasing agent that is going to be trained up after today. So we're going to just grab that real quick. I believe we will still have enough money for what we bought at the furniture store. But unfortunately, I don't believe we will have at least the appropriate amount of funds to safely get the interior of the coffee shop finished. But that's okay. I mean, you can always just wait one more day. That's not a huge, huge deal. It's a computer chair, standard office desk. Perfect. Let's purchase. We can bring this back to the HQ, get the purchasing agent set up. After tomorrow, get that new import relationship going, which should be very, very nice. Very nice. Oops. There. All right. Let's head back to the HQ. And through the magic of editing, we are back at the HQ here. Let's get this down and... Then we can move on with the next day. And I'm thinking I also made that purchase or delivery request for those expensive gifts. I'm thinking probably jumping the gun a little bit too much in terms of getting two boxes. So I know I didn't set it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had to restart my recording. I remember now. Well, that's good. I only need one box, so that works out. All right, I'll see you on the next day. All right, it's a brand new day. Sean has finally joined our team at the headquarters. And he has a new demand on top of the coffee machine. So he wants a fridge and a coffee machine. So what we need to do is head on over and grab that real quick so that we can get him taken care of because he's those are two important ones which unfortunately will draw down his satisfaction with the job if we don't fill them and they don't open for what two hours thankfully there's a bench right here and i'm stuck on that truck Let's just do that. Close enough. And our shipment has arrived from Michael Bohag. Perfect, perfect. There's the fridge. Oh, you know what? I need cash registers too, don't I, for the coffee shop. So perfect that I had to stop here. Oh, and... Oh, oh almost forgot. Cleaning station. Man. Very glad I had to come here anyway. You know what I should do? Let's set this down. Talk to him real quick. Boom. Got the relationship now. Now we can call when we need him. All right. Let's get this in the car. So this actually works out pretty well because I can drop these off for him and then get to the coffee shop, get that all situated. It looks like, eh, no, we don't. It's not safe to do the interior walls and floors yet. We'll have to do that on tomorrow's game day. But at least we'll get the furniture out and it'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like near the end. And then we just need to hire some some employees and get the stock ordered. Oh, you were killing me. You were killing me. Look how long that yellow was. That's not what I wanted. That's also not what I wanted. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, just put it back. There we go. Hand truck, please. 
Thank you. All right, fridge. I understand how ridiculous this all looks right now. Not really concerned. Uh, forgot I need to get the coffee machine in AJ Peterson. Well, you have your fridge, buddy, so got that going for you. All right, well, let's just head to the coffee shop. All right, we have arrived, and now we can start picking up all the deliveries. Set them down. but not least I can grab the hand truck all right oops here we go so first things first let's find the it's not that one that one oh that is actually one of them oh no it is this one all right so let's just set these down over here just to get them kind of out of the way we have a lot of chairs. It's not that one. There we go. One. Two, three. And four on that one. Set that aside. Do that. Get you out of the way. And you're done. Oof, I'm just click happy right now. Oh. Maybe I should slow down just a little bit. Alright, last set of chairs here. Alright, so that'll round out the round tables. We are not going to leave him here. He's got cash registers. Let's just set these up real quick. Along with the cleaning station, which... Is that enough space? It is, strangely enough. Put that put away. You are a picture frame. Uh, yeah, let's just set that right there. Carpet, plant, picture frame, picture frame. Okay, let's do another picture frame. There. Let's see, one, two, three, four. It's about right there. Leave those alone for a second. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Okay. So I'm thinking, actually, let's put this back on here. Let's move this over. For these, maybe one there. There. Hmm. Gotta make it look symmetrical, so one over. Yep. Okay, now let's set up the sofa here. Just to go there. Yep. Boom. Symmetry. All right, and we'll put the modern shelf right there. Coffee table can go there, and then finally we need to grab the wavy carpet. Is it this one? Yep. 
and little associated plant. Clock can go up here. And finally, hmm, zoom in a little bit. Do we want them down here? Or it's not really letting me put it on top, is it? There we go. There's one. And two. All right. So you get a pretty good idea of what this interior looks like. Now this allows us to go back here and change positioning of this. So I want the line, this is the first register. So this line can be right, right let's go right there. Second register and grab it. The first one I think was like right there. I think it maybe right there. Now should be able to yep. Okay. Cool. Perfect. This 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 and this so now we can have a line that kind of just snakes in but hopefully that means they get out of the way of everyone else i understand that they'll still probably run to the trash cans i don't think we're gonna get that many people all at once it seems kind of ridiculous if we did but i guess it's possible i would love it to be the case but all right so again we can't do the the actual like walls and floors at the exact moment but pretty decent looking Keeps this area open, which is believable. Have a nice, somewhat cozy eating area. And then you have a nice, comfortable couch that you can sit with your friend and drink coffee and put your coffees on the coffee table while, oops, while jamming out on our little tiny speakers. Okay, so now we need to run to AJ, grab that coffee machine. I think it's here. Could be wrong. I seem to be wrong. Maybe it's at... Yeah, I'm dumb. It's at Scott's. Alright, well, I'm gonna take care of that while I'm getting honked at, which is totally and utterly rude. Just realized there's a coffee shop right there. Well, we're not gonna be direct competitors. I'm gonna take care of that, and I'll see you guys here in just a moment. All right, we dropped off the coffee machine. It is on the floor because there's no tables. Oh boy, I'm sure he'll be happy. All right, so let's look at our importers again. We have Jet Cargo. We have Seaside Internationals, which has all of our food. And remember, Jet Cargo has currently for us, the most important thing is the hairstyling product. Lastly, we need to head to United Ocean Import to start a relationship with them for our cheap gifts, our expensive gifts, pretty much anything like that. Really, just remember that we originally purchased cheap gifts from Jet Cargo. They are a little bit more expensive than what you get at United Ocean, but Jet Cargo now, it didn't used to have this, like I mentioned, but now it has all the electronic store and obviously the hair styling product stuff. So they are now relevant, but our most important stuff is going to be within United Ocean and Seaside. This guy here, Bluestone, they are most certainly important as well, but they are going to focus solely on clothes, which we don't have a clothing store yet. But let's head to, to United Ocean. We'll set the destination so I don't miss it. And we'll get that relationship started. And then we'll try to see what we can do about getting our warehouse stocked up with all the stuff that we need. Because we still need to do all the donuts, coffee, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
all that kind of stuff at the at the coffee shop. So I believe this is where I need to be. It's only a hundred meters away. Yeah, this is the right one. How to find a parking spot? Oh, look at this. First spot is open. How convenient. Let's close that. I can't close that one, unfortunately, because it's part of the objective since we haven't assigned a lawyer yet, since we are training. But we'll get that taken care of soon. All right. We want a new part partnership with Sean Gray being our purchasing agent. Perfect. All right. Let's take a look. So first off, let's get rid. Okay, good. We didn't do anything with it. So with Sean, we want to order not jewelry. There it is. Cheap gifts to warehouse one, expensive gifts to warehouse one. I'll leave it at that for now. You can see what else he has or what United Ocean has, I should say. And I am stocking every three days, by the way. So they do flowers, wine, cigars, margaritas, whiskey, martini, beer, and jewelry. This is a very interesting mix of goods, but this is what they have. So essentially you could do cheap flowers and expensive flowers in gift shops, which honestly might not be a bad idea to amp up our gift shop as well. We should seriously consider that. But for now, we're focused on the, the gifts, obviously. But bottles of wine, cigars, and beer, if I'm not mistaken, are all the main goods for a liquor store. Cigars is a really weird one to me for a liquor store, but it is what it is. I mean... They sell cigars at liquor stores, so it's a real thing. Obviously, jewelry stores will require the jewelry. And then you have margaritas, whiskey, and martinis, which I believe are brought in with the nightclub update. So, yeah, not, not a bad place to have, but really, we're focusing on, on the gifts for now. So, we want to have at least a thousand cheap gifts. Look at that cost. One thousand cheap gifts is $988. I just want to take a moment to show you that one box or 200 is 1000. So the cost per good from the the New York distro. So 103156 divided by 200 it's five dollars and 15 cents per gift whereas with sean as our purchasing agent and going through united ocean it is two dollars and 87 cents that is almost it's 1.79 times the cost going through new york distro so we should be making hell of a lot more now granted we did order a thousand from jack cargo which it's still almost double the cost so we're still making quite a bit more but you could see why it, originally i was saying we we're going to get rid of this relationship until i backtrack because of this stuff i mean regardless we have to keep them for this stuff once we start doing it so now expensive gifts $4.23 each. We probably should just get also a thousand of them. It's 50, 5,200 there. Not bad. I think we can go ahead and order that. We don't have anything coming for jet cargo. We don't have anything coming for seaside because they, it looks like they ordered yesterday at this point. Maybe it was the day before. I don't recall, but we have everything stocking in three days. I mean, we're not going to, this is going to be irrelevant right now because we're, we're still quite fine with the hair care product but next thing we need to do is well, actually you know what i i rescind oh no i don't i did i did do this okay <laughs> that's the virtue of not remembering the things that you do so we're, we're good on that part so no you just need to go to the logistics manager and make sure that we add oh no i can't do any more destinations well then that's a bummer. I guess we need another another vehicle and driver. All right, well, we have the time to do this. Let's call 
and get a driver. Let's do, let's just bank on one. Who cares? We're going to wait to purchase a vehicle, another van, essentially, just because obviously we need to go and get through the day. So in that case, let's run one more day and see where we're at at that point. Okay, we've run another day. Someone else called in sick, which is why I stopped before 8 o'clock. It's all right. We got 18 grand in the bank. I think it's best that we probably get our other van. So let's let's increase time here a little bit. Should work. So we need to head over. Where are we at here? So straight ahead. We're just going to gonna run because we'd have to pick up our car anyway but things are looking good uh, it's gonna cost another eight thousand if I recall correctly on the van but this will allow us to do I believe three more deliveries now we only need one currently but this should help unless let me do something real quick. You know, I never started this new business. I wonder if that's potentially why, because there's just no spot. There you go. Delo's Coffee House. Let's start that business. Now let's see what happens. Can I actually... No. Okay, so it is the driver. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked that first, though, just in case. Could have been wrong, so. Alright, let's grab this fan. Eight grand. Turn it black. Purchase. Perfecto. Yes. It was purchased successfully as opposed to unsuccessfully. I don't know what an unsuccessful purchase would be other than just being declined, which would be embarrassing, but I don't think that exists in the game. That is actually something I would be interested in seeing. Is a more fleshed out debt system i mean debt within the business world is a very very important aspect of uh daily business in well across the world but especially so in the united states and given that we are in new york city there's our house given we're in new york city it would make sense that the world's financial capital is represented also in its, you know, more fluid nature with capital itself. Wait, why did I park? That was a derpy moment. Oh, just like the last van, I'm damaging this one. Did I park in this one last time? Nope. Even better. Alrighty. Alright, so now we have two spots. Will this let us do this yet? Nope, we need another driver still. Okay. Should be getting a driver soon. Forget, what does the delivery driver... Defines the vehicle's second drive. Okay, perfect. Hopefully the driver we get is sufficient enough to drive the van. I imagine he will be. Really, I think the only other vehicle that you can use for a delivery driver is the box truck which is $98,000 <laughs> quite a bit more but most certainly worth it if I remember correctly can handle 50 boxes at a time all right let's do our daily routine Oh, there's our candidate and ooh, okay. I'll take it. That's good. Let's just hire you on. That works out for me. Now let's go here. Go here. Drivers. Jamie Santiago. Perfect. And what am I doing? There we go. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so next we need to do the coffee house. 
I would say, what do you think? 800 across the board. See how the day is handled that way. Once we start getting people, I think this one can just be 400 and we need 2000 at least there. Yeah, I think that's sufficient. We could start off with this and see how it goes. All right. Let's move forward with the day. Get these guys, oops, trained up. Lastly, let's pump some iron. Keep ourselves jacked. All right, this will be the, hopefully the, the next final day before we can start moving forward with the hiring of the coffee house people. But before we do that, I believe this is a good place to stop. We are definitely going to get these guys ready for the next one so that we can finally get the next objective going. But. We need to hire some more employees and get the coffee house going as well and move on from there and keep making money. But uh, that'll be it for today, guys. I appreciate you checking in. If you like what you saw, give me a like, you know, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. I'll see you next time.